we collect samples um, every day, 365 days a year. We have, during weekends, we put up a seven day sampler. During weekdays, we collect it daily. So here in, at UNLV, around the city, we collect it weekly. So we have samples for every single day of the year. Here in Las Vegas, we're the only certified National Allergy Bureau pollen and mold station. So this is our sampler. We open it up and then we replace this slide and this sampler that you are seeing, this head, is a one day head. So we grease this slide in the morning in the lab. This grease actually collects the pollen from the air and we have to check the air pressure there. See how it's rising up? And that's our level. Anything below this or anything above this, that means something is obstructing it or there's too much pressure in there. And then we take this to the lab for staining and counting. So after we collect the slides um, from the samplers, we actually put them on a slide warmer so they can be warmed up. The pollen grains themselves are clear if you look at them under a microscope without the stain. So we need that purple, pinkish stain to penetrate the pollen grain, so we warm it up so it opens those grains to allow the stain to penetrate it. And once it's dry, about 15, 20 minutes, then we're able to analyze it under a microscope. So this is um, ash pollen, which is what we're seeing right now. This is actually what signals the start of our pollen season here. So this one signals the start of it, and then the next we'll get mulberry and then olive. You'll have oak in there. We also, because sometimes during the pollen season, you'll see thousands and thousands of them, we have to use this tallier. Otherwise, it'd be really hard to be able to keep track of every single one of them. So once we do the calculations, we uh, upload the data to the National Allergy Bureau website, which is also linked to our UNLV pollen monitoring website. From there, we're able to inform the public if they are um, high, medium, or lows. Here's one, this is actually cedar. So it's got like a little bit of a star in the middle, like a distorted star. During peak pollen season, which is spring, it ends up taking us an hour, hour and a half just to do one slide, which is one site for one day for 24 hours.